We just finished the shoe. How is the shoe? <laughs> okay, nice knowing you. Finally with Vlada. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Sure. <laughs> Don't know what that means. I just said today is a gorgeous day. Yeah, today is actually a perfect day to shoot. We've been trying to set this up for over two weeks now, I think. The way here, I actually lost my contract. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in my bag. So I'm just getting her to go over some stuff with me. But yeah, I'm so excited for the shoot. I hope Vlada is excited too. Okay, sign that contract so we can get it. I did, it's done, <laughs> did it's you? good to go. <laughs> it's official. It's outside, it's more it. natural, like, yeah, perfect. It's a swimsuit. You know, it sounds really weird, we're on the challenge right now. We need a picture of us with a bearded man. <laughs> with a bearded man? <laughs> yes. What, what's the challenge for? It's a scavenger hunt. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get a picture now. <laughs> Alright, you ready, guys? You are awesome, thank you! Thank, thank you, you very much! Good luck, good luck. <laughs> We just finished the shoe. How was the sh <laughs> <laughs> It's great. Okay, nice knowing you. The photos, honestly, Vlada killed it. Such an amazing job. High five. <laughs> Let's do it again. Such a trooper because she was freezing. She had this thing on the whole time. Most of the time when she wasn't shooting. I don't know what's happening here right now. We're supposed to be doing a brand shoe. <laughs> here you go. It's not even a dollar! <laughs> what the f we are done. We're wrapping up the shoot. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. What up, man? Jed and I decided to stop at probably one of the most well-known sites here in Vancouver Seawall. We didn't realize this when we were just taking photos and then we looked behind us. It was like literally everyone's taking photos of the same thing. So it's uh, it's very photogenic so I don't blame them. So right now Jed and I are just waiting for the sun to go down. We're hoping for like a really, really fiery uh, sunset. The sun is gonna go down right in front of us. So we're just playing the waiting game. <laughs> That is unreal. The colors are so insane. Jed, did you get some bangers? I think so. Dude, that's sick. I love how the colors just pop on that. How epic was the sunset though? I had like just different colors like purple, orange, yellow, like everything. I think it's fair to say that we can sleep well tonight. Right? <laughs> Like a baby <laughs> it's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's about 7.30 right now. I'm gonna go head over to White Rock. Yeah, let's go. I'm just waiting for Kelsey. She texted me she's gonna be five minutes late, so I'm just gonna head over and find a bench. 
It's a bit cold, but it's starting to warm up just a little bit. Kelsey is a trooper for doing this first thing in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna start right now. Nothing. <laughs> the shoot i hope you had fun the photos <laughs> turned out so amazing so i can't wait to show you guys but for now we're out so really really happy with the photos and yeah i can't wait to edit them but before i end this video i posted something on my insta story a couple of days ago i asked you guys to send me any questions that you may have. I got some questions from you guys. I won't be able to go through all of them. So I'll pick a couple of the questions that I got from you. The first question is from Mason Weiser. Weiser? Ideas? I don't know exactly what your question is. I guess you're asking where I get my inspiration, maybe? So I get my inspiration from social media. I mean, I, I take the, I take ideas from these photos, but I don't completely imitate them. I take them and then I put my own flavor to them. So that way I'm not, you know, really copying or imitating that photo. Any other ideas that I get, it could be, it just comes from anywhere random, really. It could be just from going to a place and getting inspired by that particular country, or maybe being inspired by another human being. So it, it comes, uh, inspiration for me is everywhere, but I think those would be my main sources of inspiration, which is social media platforms and whatever is around me. So the next question is from Anducey, and his question is, do you think you'll ever live somewhere other than Canada for long periods of time? I thought about this last year. I thought about moving to Bali, Indonesia for, you know, half a year or a year or so. And then after some thorough thinking, I was thinking about like the volcano eruptions that they've been having, the just the natural disasters that they've been having. And this is a country that, that's used to that and, and I'm not. So even the last time I was there, it wasn't a big earthquake, but it was, it was an earthquake, like first thing in the morning, and the, the whole ground was shaking, and it was a it was a scary moment. And I really thought about it. I mean, I I love Indonesia, I love Bali. I've been there three times, and I think I'll be back again at some point. But to actually live there for six months or even a year, I don't think it's something that I will do. Canada is and will always be home for me as much as I love to travel. I mean, I go to these places, I'll travel to them for a month or two months. I don't think I can live anywhere else aside from Canada. Thank you guys for watching my video. Really, really appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll catch you guys on the next vlog.